Saurabh Mukherjee's detailed analysis on Dr. Lal Path Labs. Which remains very, very relevant in the context of what's happening in the country. Look at Dr. Lal Path Labs, right? So Dr. Lal himself ran this business till 10, 11 years ago when Om Manchanda, the current CEO, took charge. Om is ex am Ahmedabad, ex Unilever. What Om has done is over the last decade, taken a business which was generating, say, 25% ROC a decade back and made it a business which generates 125% return on invested capital. He's made it a, a cash machine, right? And central to making it a cash machine is the use of technology to drive higher profit margins, the use of technology to crush the working capital cycle, the use of technology to, to improve the sweating of the fixed assets. The fixed assets there being the lab infrastructure. Home has used technology very cleverly to sweat the lab, lab infrastructure much harder than it hitherto used to do. And by using technology cleverly, he's created a paradigm where it's very difficult for anybody else, whether they're organized or unorganized in the north or in the south. It's very difficult for any other path lab to go head to head, toe to toe with Dr. Lal Path Lab because the cash engine here fires so powerfully. So just to give an example. If you look at working capital cycles, right, this is obviously a big deal for a path lab. Remember, Dr. Lal Path Lab a decade back barely had, I think, 100, 200 uh, tests and testing centers. They now have the best part of 6,000 testing centers. A decade back, they were offering basic products like blood tests and urine tests. Today, they offer 5,000 tests. Out of those 5,000, there are 2,000 tests which no other path lab offers, high margin high EBITDA margin test, no other path lab offers. So even if you go to large hospitals, uh, say the, I live in a suburb of Bombay, the local hospital I use uh, outsources almost all of the high-end tests to Dr. Lal. I, I'm sure wherever you live in India, it's a similar story, right? Now, what that creates is a, it creates a working capital challenge for any path lab. In, in any business, there are three layers of working capital one thinks about. One is first is called receivables, which is how long, how much later from the point of purchase does a customer pay you? For obvious reasons in a path lab, there is no receivable days. You typically pay at the point of point of use of the product. Where a path lab gets stuck is inventory days. Dr. Lal is offering 5,000 tests. For a typical test, you need three or four raw three or four inputs. So therefore, Dr. Lal in any given test center has to run an inventory of 20,000 items. And remember, they're doing this across 5,000 centers. That's a Herculean inventory management exercise. Most other listed path labs have, invent, have, have a working capital cycle due to inventory days of 10, 20, 10 to 20 days. Dr. Lal Path Lab has a working capital cycle of zero days. India's largest path lab with the most amount of test centers with the greatest number of tests offered has a zero day working capital cycle. So how did they pull this off? Everybody uses SAP, Dr. Lal uses SAP. So the use of technology per se is not the only factor. What Dr. Lal does, which is very novel is, they use their software to track how many, for example, how many uh, units of say the, the urine test cup, plastic dabba. How many do I need in Kurukshetra? How many do I need in Lajpat Nagar? How many do I need in Merit, et cetera? Then they consolidate that demand because they can see, they can see on their tracking systems, how many do they need? And then they negotiate with the supplier for a corresponding number of credit days. They tell the supplier, I will pay you X number of days later, given that I'm the largest buyer, I'm bringing you a lot of business. The supplier usually agrees. And they, they offset the inventory days with the, with the credit days. They offset the inventory days with the credit that the supplier gives them. The two numbers cancel out. And hey, presto, you have India's largest path lab operating on a zero working capital cycle. We could discuss several such applications of technology with Dr. Lal. We could discuss this in the context of Relaxo. We could do the, discuss this in the context of Page Industries. All of these companies are gunning out rapid free cash flow compounding faster than competitors on the back of the smart use of technology, right? This in a way becomes a distinguishing factor because if you have more cash, you use that cash to muscle into competitors' territory. Those of you who live in Mumbai would have seen, right? A month back, Dr. Lal acquired the, uh, the second largest path lab in Mumbai, right? And this is a classic Dr. Lal deal. Go to a territory, talk to the largest, the second largest player, tell them that, look, you have a choice. You compete with us and you know what will happen. Or here's a cash payment. It pays for your so retirement corpus. You, the erstwhile owner of the regional franchise will become the regional man manager. Your brand name will remain. Our super efficient, the Dr. Lal super efficient brand name, the back end will kick in. And by, by using our superior free cash flows, we, Dr. Lal, are consolidating the path lab industry. And you and I get the benefit.
bit of that. Remember, 85%, 85% of the path industries, mom and pop labs, just 15% is national chains of which Dr. Lal is the largest. So think about the compounding run where you're investing here with a clean management team, clean promoter, smart management team, consistent use of technology and capital to crush the competition and an enormous growth runway. This is a $10 billion industry with 85% in mom and pop. Imagine the growth runway you and I have 